The first thing every worker must know in order to use a fall protection system is how to put on, adjust, and properly wear the full body harness. Before putting on a harness, it must be inspected for damage. Inspect the surface of the webbing for damage. Beginning at one end, bend the webbing into an inverted U while holding the side of the harness that would face the body towards you. Inspect for frayed edges, broken fibers, pulled stitches or cuts. Discolored, fused, brittle, or melted fibers may also indicate signs of chemical or heat damage. Broken webbing generally appears as tufts on the webbing surface. If damage is found, replace the harness according to high safe guidelines. Inspect the hardware next. Check the D-rings and other metal components for cracks that may signal the beginning of metal fatigue. Also check for sharp edges that could damage webbing and for other corrosion, distortion, or signs of wear. Check the wear pad at the base of the D-ring and make sure the D-ring pivots freely. Also check that friction or quick release buckles engage correctly. In harnesses with buckles and grommets, check for loose, distorted, or broken grommets. Do not cut or punch additional holes in any straps. Check that the rivets are tight and cannot be moved. Also make sure that the rivets are not bent. Inspect the buckle for distortion. The outer and center bars must be straight. Any harness that has been subject to a fall must be removed from service. The first thing you should do when putting on a vest style full body harness is to pick up the harness by the center back D-ring. This should align the harness for proper donning. Untwist any twisted webbing. The harness can then be put on like a vest, putting one arm through the shoulder straps and then the other. The shoulder straps can then be adjusted to fit the wearer. The leg straps can now be buckled. Take the front part of the leg strap and hold it by the buckle. Then reach between the legs and grasp the other end of the leg strap. Bring the two ends together and slide the grommeted strap through the buckle, attaching the buckle through a snugly fitting grommet. Tuck the excess webbing under the elastic webbing keeper, if available. Adjust the length of the chest strap and connect it by taking a smaller part of the buckle, turning it slightly sideways, and sliding it through the larger part. The chest strap should fit snugly. The D-ring should be positioned in the center of the back between the shoulder blades. Pull the back slide and D-ring to this location. The wearer will either need to remove the harness to do this or have another person assist them. The pullover style of harness is donned in a different manner. First, pick up the harness by the back D-ring. Be sure that the straps are all unfastened and untwisted. The shoulder straps cross at the front through the front D-ring pad and at the back through the back D-ring pad. Grasp the shoulder straps and separate them. Lift the shoulder straps over your head, making sure that the straps are crossed in the back and that the harness is not turned inside out. Lower the harness onto your shoulders. Both D-rings should lie flat against the body with the D-rings facing outward. The chest straps will now be hanging loosely in front. Buckle the chest straps. Followed by the leg straps. The leg and chest straps connect in the same fashion. Adjust the chest straps for a comfortable yet snug fit. Then adjust the leg straps for a comfortable but firm fit. You should allow enough to be able to insert two fingers between your leg and the leg strap. Last, check that the D-ring is located between your shoulder blades. You may need someone to help you adjust the D-ring. 